next topic is uh, shape of orbitals. Shape of orbitals. The first one is s orbital. S orbital. Okay, for s orbital, what is the l value? L value. I think you know the quantum numbers because already you learned in 11th standard. Various quantum numbers, first one is principal quantum number, then azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. For s orbital, what is l value? L value is equal to 0. L value 0, azimuthal quantum number 0 means that is s orbital. So, l is equal to 0 means what about m value? Magnetic quantum number also 0 because there is no orientation. Okay. So, that L value 0 mean that is azimuthal quantum, quantum number value 0 mean m also 0. So, that s orbital only there is no orientation only one orientation that is s orbital. You know each and every orbital you can say maximum 2 electrons. Maximum 2 electrons. Okay. This is the shape of orbital. Shape of orbital is symmetrical in shape. Symmetrical. Spherically symmetrical in shape. Just think about a node. What do you mean node mean? This is the structure of atom, this is the nucleus, so first cell, second cell, like that, K cell, L cell, like that. So, node mean, in between the two shell, there is no electron here, no, there is zero probability of electron. In this place only, nothing but node, this place only, node. So, what the common formula for node mean, n minus 1 rule, n minus 1 rule. Suppose it is a 2s, 2 orbital. As that uh, suppose this is a 2s orbital mean here the maximum node is 1 because 2n minus 1 here suppose 2s mean n is equal to 2, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 node will come. Suppose 3s mean 2 nodes will come. 3s mean like this, this is a 1 node, this is another node. 4s mean 1, 2, 3 like way. Suppose it is a 5s mean 4 nodes. Suppose it is 10s means 9 nodes. So, the common formula for calculating the node is n minus 1 rule. Okay. The shape is symmetrically spherical in shape. This is the shape of this is the nucleus, like S first cell, the cancel likewise symmetrical. This in between is node. So for S orbital, S orbital are symmetrically symmetrically spherical in shape. L is equal to zero. L mean azimuthal quantum number zero. Here M value, magnetic quantum number also zero. So that there is no orientations at all. Only one orbit. In that orbit only you can feel maximum two electrons. Maximum two electrons. One is upward, another one is downward. Here the, to find the node mean for two s orbital only one node, three s orbital two nodes, four s orbital three. Likewise, the common formula is n minus one rule. Likewise, we are going to discuss about p orbital. P orbitals are dumbbell in shape. That is a next one is a yes after that p orbital. For p orbital, l value is equal to 1. So, 1 mean what about magnetic quantum number value it starts from minus through 0 till plus 1 all together 3 orientations possible for p orbital l value is equal to 1. So, m value starts from minus through 0 till, till plus so that minus 1 0 plus 1 3 orientation possible. So, what are the 3 orientation mean for p x mean p mean p x p y P is that likewise three orientation possible. So that the P orbital split into three types like this. This is nothing but P X, this is nothing but P Y, this is nothing but P is that orbit. Each and every orbital you can see maximum two electrons. Actually, the shape of P orbital is like this dumbbell shape. Dumbbell shape. Actually, three is there, no? P X, P Y, P is that. Uh, we are going to draw the, I am going to draw the structure of Px, Py and Pz. See here, this is the x axis, this is the y axis, and this one is the z. Actually, I am going to draw the diagram for Px. Px mean along the x axis like this. This is a 2Px. Suppose if we need 2Py mean that uh, dumbbell shape will be along the y axis that is x this is y so this is 2p y 2p y suppose if we need 2p is that mean 2p is that mean this is x 
this is x, this is to y, this is z. If you need 2p z, means this is 2p z. So, 2p x orbit, 2p y orbit, orbital, 2p z orbital. So, the 3 oriented. So, because for p orbital, p mean L value is equal to 1, m value is equal to minus 1, 0, plus 1. So, 3 orientation. So, that p orbital split into 3 types like p x, p y, p z. So, all together 2, 2, 2 electron, 6 electron. So, in p orbital maximum can be 6 electron. The shape is dumbbell shape. So, along the x mean 2 p x, along the y mean 2 p y, along the z axis mean 2 p z axis. The next one is d orbital. Next one is a d orbital. For d orbital, l value is equal to 2. l value 2 means what about m value? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. All together, 5 orientations. Magnetic quantum number tells about orientations. Here how many orientations? 5 orientations possible. How many orientations possible? Five orientation possible so that the d orbital split into five types like this one, two, three, four, five. What are they? That's the question. The first one is think about x, y, and z. Okay. Chief of these two that mean x, y. So that you can call it as d x y. Then these two y z. D y z. Then these two x e z d x e z then this square minus this square so d x square minus y square what is left this one p e z square p e z square these are a five orientation why five orientation because l value that is the azimuthal quantum number value 2 2 mean magnetic quantum number start from mass negative through 0 through plus value so that minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, all together 5 orientation. So that the d orbital split into 5 types like this dxy, dyz, dxz, dx square minus y square and dz square. Okay. Now the shape of d orbitals are like this. Now, these three are same thing like x axis, y axis, z axis. These three, three, three things are same type like this will come in between. Actually, you are not supposed to draw this diagram, y axis, no need to indicate. So that like this in between. Only the axis only will vary. So these these three things very same manner x y y z and x z. But this is very important one more question. In d orbital, which which one is occupying in the along the axis? That means somewhat different from others. X square minus y square. This is x axis. This is y axis. So that this is uh, this is occupying along the x axis. X and y. See, these are somewhat different. In between, x y, this is y, this is x y, d x y, this is d y z, this is d x e z. These are in same manner. This is x, this is y, this is x, this is y like that. But this alone, somewhat different from this one. X square minus y square means the shape is along the axis. Z square will come in the only z axis. These are the shape of d orbital. Yeah, d z square will come only in the z axis. d z square mean will come only in, suppose this is z mean only the z axis, along the z axis will come. Here it will come in the nodal plane. These are d orbitals. So, s orbital is symmetrically spherical in shape, 
we have this sample in shape for s orbital how to find nodal plane mean maximum using that formula n minus 1 formula so totally the 2s orbital have 2s orbital have 1 node 3s mean 2 node 4s mean 3 node 5s mean 4 node common formula n minus 1 for s orbital are symmetrically spherical in shape symmetrically spherical in shape l value 0 m value also 0 that's why there is no orientation only one orbital think about p orbital p orbital mean l value 1 l value 1 mean m value start from minus through 0 till plus value so minus 1 0 plus 1 all together three orientations so that p orbital split into three types px py pz each and every orbital you can fill maximum two electron so three twos are six electrons so that p orbital can fill maximum six electrons the shape is dumbbell shape then d orbital for d orbital l value is equal to two so azimuthal corner number two mean m value Start from minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, all together 5 orientation. 5 orientation mean dxy and dyz, dxyz and d square minus y square and dz square. The shapes are like this. So, also important by Marcus.